Hi, boys and girls. Guess where I am today? I told you I was coming up to school. I miss having you here. But today I thought I'll read a few books from the classroom so you'll know it's still here and it's still languishing and missing each and every one of you, as am I. Well, today's book is a picture book with actual photographs of beavers. It's called Busy Beaver by Suzanne Canazares and Pamela Chenko. Here we go with Busy Beavers. Busy Beavers. Beavers are busy. Busy swimming. Busy chewing. Busy carrying. And you got it. Chewing. Busy scooping and chewing. Busy packing, packing the mud in there. And chewing. Busy building. And, can you guess it? Chewing. Beavers are busy making a home. Beavers are among the largest rodents on the earth. Their main occupation is building a family-sized shelter that will keep them safe from predators. These shelters are like fortresses and are the most complex houses in all the animal kingdom. They are called beaver lodges. It all starts with a dam. The beaver creates a dam in a stream with two branch with branches and tree trunks that it has cut down with its strong teeth. A beaver can cut down a sapling four inches in diameter in 15 minutes, carrying the trunk or branches in its mouth. The beaver swims to the dam site where it packs them down with mud. The water then pools and creates a pond. In the middle of the pond, the beaver begins building the lodge. The lodge takes shape um, as the busy beaver chews and carries, chews and carries, chews and carries. The floor of the lodge is built up higher than the water line so that the inside chamber is dry. Then with marvelous engineering skill, the beaver puts more limbs and branches in place and seals them with the mud, creating a cozy home for winter. An entryway is built that opens underwater so that it can't be seen from above and is difficult for intruders to enter. I'm going to turn the page. The inside chamber of the lodge is about five feet wide and three feet tall. It has an air hole in the ceiling. Here beaver babies are born and raised. They get their first swimming lesson when they are, are one month old. As long as the beavers are using the lodge, they keep adding it to it and repairing it. The dam takes constant maintenance as well. In the pond near the beaver's lodge is a stockpile of branches. This is the winter food for the beavers. When there are no leaves and the frozen sap inside the trees makes them too hard to cut down, Beavers strip the bark off of the limbs that they have put in aside and eat it. Work on the lodge and the dam is continuous. The water level in the pond must be kept up so that the lodge is surrounded by water. Like a castle moat, at the end of at the same time, the lodge must be way must be kept in good repair so that it doesn't leak or give way to in heavy weather. All this work keeps the beaver busy, 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 and qualifies it for the very best animal architect. And there's a few more of those little pictures. And that, my friends, reminds me of how busy you boys and girls are every day, working hard in kindergarten, learning things, 
way beyond what many people think impossible. But I know I have busy beavers for class and you work as hard as anyone I know. Have a great day, boys and girls. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.